the welcome to the inner sanctum. sanctum. <coughs> Fuck, hang on a sec. Uh, time for a yellow one. G'day. It's your old pal BFB uh, with a brief explanation before some classic CBB. Those who hate my joking via pics and haven't realised they can just look away will enjoy the latest BFB vid because in this one I don't play that way. But there is one idea which arrived at 4.20 after plenty of vodka and not enough rest. It came to me while enjoying puns and wondering which of these experts would be best. It probably won't climb high on the fans' barometer. But anyway, I've explained why you're seeing a panometer. And if I miss a few, well, boo-hoo. I wonder in my condition how good you'd do. So now you know, and off we go. And sorry... For another clumsy portmanteau. Never met a horse I couldn't break or an orgasm I couldn't fake. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to Gorilla Thrilla. Speaking of Grape Ape, we were talking about Grape Ape right before we pressed play on the theme song. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another week. And uh, we're out of September and we are tip deep in Octi Doggy. That's right. And we're... Doggy Octi. <laughs> yeah, and Doc Dr. Oc. Oc, of course. Doc Oc and Octi Doc. Uh, Otto Octavius. I hope you're listening out there. The superior Spider Man. Oh. Um, also, Dr. Octagon. Yes, <laughs> yep, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Black Elvis. MF Doom. Yep. Cool Where Keith. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the show. Scott Ackerman here. I'm always the host, uh, except for a few rando episodes earlier on. So if you're expecting someone else, you never will get another host. Jason, uh, I, until thought, th- I thought, Jason, I thought you hosted the show. What? I never have hosted the show. He I has am just, never hosted. I am just in waiting. Nor will he ever host the show. Well, I mean, that presumes that I die before you. <laughs> I, or that you stop the show before you die, which we all know is impossible. I hmm. actually... Because you did make the audience a lifelong pledge. <laughs> did I? When did that happen? Um, is that just P- having um, a podcast? Yeah, on that PBS telephone. The, <laughs> you the oral contract that you made to get the audience one new show <laughs> a week that you host until your death, Was Scott. that an oral contract? Yes. Yep. It, was a, it was a moral oral contract. It was a <laughs> yep. claymation contract. Oh, yep. no way. I wrote an episode D- of Moral Oral. Is Dino, that what it was? D- Dino, Dino stamped, stamped it. Yep. Yeah. I thought Dino that, stamped a topless. Is this on Starburn? <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, uh, just by the way, uh, yes. it, just to make you feel better, more at ease, I mm-hmm. feel very strongly that Jason will die before you. I totally, th- I mean, look at him. <laughs> look at at him. I am, uh, to be fair, fresh from the dentist. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about this in a second. Let me introduce you guys because... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's just keep rolling. We've, now, passed, we've I, passed the passed point. Passed the point of no return? We've passed we're the point for introduction. 120 seconds we're in. Just, let's just do the <laughs> show. That's 120 seconds in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is did you guys Matt. Ever, what was his name? Did you ever watch my Funny or Die YouTube video uh, called 120 Seconds? It was a parody of... Uh, <laughs> 120 minutes? <laughs> 127 hours. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it was a parody. So why didn't you call it 127 seconds? Yeah. 127 <laughs> seconds is what I and should have stressed. So just to answer your question, no. It was, we did not watch it. Was, it. Uh, Leah. You did not watch my we did funny not watch YouTube. It TL it, semicolon D Because here's the thing. If it can't even have the correct mockery title, then yeah. I'm not going to give it the time. Well, isn't the 127 hours 127 hours long? No. Oh, no, it's not oh, a real oh, time. I thought that it's not was a real the... time. It's not Werner Herzog didn't make. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see my porn parody of Kroll Show called Kroll Show, a porn parody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Your porn parodies are getting really good. I can't believe you got Josh Fadum to play me. <laughs> I know. It's amazing, and I fucked him. Yeah. Oh, so hard. Yes. Oh, Look, yeah. let me let me say who you guys are. First of all, no, his voice. No introductions are necessary. Up. Shut up. You're not the host. <laughs> Don't try to 
alpha me. <laughs> uh, you hear Getting so mean in your old age. You hear his voice a lot <clears throat> on his own podcast, and then he comes over and tries to horn in on mine. I don't know why. Jason Manzukas is here, a.k.a. Jeffrey Karatawiti. Hooray! How, How are, are you, my you? friend? Great to see you. Thrilled to be here. Is, that, is Jeffrey Karatawiti the only character that you've ever played? No, he no Manzukas <laughs> is the yes, only character that you've ever played. I think you have the mythology played. wrong. Yes. Yeah, it's backwards. Yes. You've transposed even, it. Even though I think I imposed it. Yeah, well, you know, for sure. <laughs> yes. We'll get back to you in a second, Jason, and talk about your specific Let's situation. Uh, but I want to turn my right and introduce uh, him. He is on less frequently than Jason, but certainly not infrequently. That's a fair summation. Uh, he has been there since the beginning. Mm. Uh, mm. Great friend. He well. has a new television show, I believe, uh, animated in nature that is on Netflix. All episodes currently streaming on Netflix just debuted a couple of days ago called Big Mouth Hello <laughs> on Netflix. Please welcome Nick Kroll. Hello, Nick. Hi, Scott. Thanks for having me. I'm promoting Big was, Mouth. Was that a, a, a Smith's reference? A little Morrissey. Yeah. Big Mouth Hello. I didn't know what Big that Mouth was. Strikes Again. How, well, how dare you call your show Big Mouth and not yeah. know that I think Morrissey I pitched sings. you that. I think I pitched you that as a theme song at one point. I was like, what's the catchiest, most upbeat song you yeah. can think of Most for expensive this? rights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what vegan asexual <laughs> singer songwriter could we throw hey, into the mix? He, ha- he had sex. <laughs> he, he finally did? had sex. Did he recently? Not recently, but uh, within the past. Was six that years? what he literally had never had sex before? I think he had never I think it had been. Yeah. He'd been celibate, and then there, there's a certain song on his album about how, how he finally boned. I yeah. like how you, but until you said boned, you guys were both being incredibly respectful <laughs> <laughs> of Morrissey's virginity. Oh, yeah. Uh, or celibacy. Celibacy, celibacy. Of course. Yes. Yeah, they go hand in hand, yes. <laughs> don't they? Um, Nick, welcome back to the show. Let's turn to Jason, back to Jason hey, here. Oh. You were just fresh back from the dentist. Oh, guys, came from that chair to this chair, and things <laughs> are numb. Do you constantly keep track of what chairs you're in from always, place to place. Always, always. And when I'm in a chair, I'm projecting what chair am I going to next. <laughs> yep. I'm living my life chair to chair, baby. You have a one C person to C. show. Chair to chair? Oh, yeah. It's sort of like Billy Crystal's yep. uh, 700, 700 Sundays. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's like just the different 15, chairs. 15,000 chairs. And then I jump into a, like an air on chair and I'm like, I'm making deals, bro. And then I jump into a rocking chair and I'm like, I don't know. I'm old. It's strange that you're changing characters every chair, too. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. It's, right. a, it's a one man show. Different character. It's a one man show. Each mm-hmm. each chair is a different character, it's a different a, chapter of life. So one at a certain man, point, fifteen thousand chair mm-hmm, show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At a certain point, you play chair in a share chair. <laughs> Wait, you're waving <laughs> Nick off? No, I want you to sit in that. <laughs> Nick was about to say something, no, no, and no. Jason was, gave him the Heisman. No, no, and, and, and just yeah, like said, I'm, shut I the fuck to, up for a second. Yeah, yeah no. and at one point in the show, I sit on on share. You know you portray. I sit on her. You don't sit on her. Come on. I Jason. make her to be my chair. That's yeah. gross. Um, sit yeah. on chair and rotate. Yeah. Man. Why what, don't, why what, don't, did, what did you have done to your pretty little mouth? I had Jason? a crown put on, yeah. and then I had another tooth prepared for a crown. It's weird that they call it a crown. You does know, it, was, no, that goes, that goes on is, the head. Does no, the second tooth have to get rid of a stutter or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My teeth, I am Wait, you I laugh glad, at, wait, hold on, you laugh at finally, what he says, yeah. and you don't laugh at what I say? I laugh at what you say plenty of the time. <laughs> I you would, Scott, you did not give me a dismissive Scott, hand to the share chair. <laughs> Scott, Scott, I find you very funny. Yeah. I know. We we have a great relationship. I, uh, we are off, dear, off dear friends. Mike. Dear friends. Um, <laughs> on mic, you're a bit much. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, no, the, like I had that that feel, like the drilling, the smell oh, of the, the smell. drill eradicating so your teeth it's is so, so hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, oh. That fucking the smell of... Uh. The smell of calcium burning. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and enamel I mean? wearing down. Oh, oh yeah. Gr- what, was, what was going on with those teeth? You, uh, a little... One of them, one of them, I had wisdom teeth too long, and one of them got, like, a just, like, a really nasty cavity in the back, and I couldn't get to it because I kept the wisdom teeth too long, so they got to put it... Yep. Here's, here's the great thing about Jason. Oh, He's a hypochondriac. Sure. Um, and he is constantly worried that things are going to go poorly with mm-hmm. his health. So right. he waits too long to have his wisdom teeth out, and then he finally does it and has a hilariously bad reaction mm-hmm. to it. 
<laughs> and was totally out of commission for so much longer. Oh, yeah. No, I was than, demolished for like a week. Were yes. you really? But yet, weirdly enough, you scheduled this right after the dentist saying, it'll be funny if well, I'm... this one, this, yes. yes because this, this is just, I knew they were, my face was only going to be numb. Well, right, Jason's right. a modern know? day Bill Cosby in so many ways. Oh, because <laughs> I was like, I want to, I really want to bring that bit back. Did you go to that dentist who squirts semen in uh, the patient's <laughs> the, mouth yes. <laughs> yep. with the syringe? Absolutely. <laughs> I hear he's back. And I guys, he... I have great news. My gums are pregnant. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally. I'm having, ba- I'm having Comedians, guy comedians <laughs> talking about semen. Yeah. I'm having, um, out there. I'm having baby teeth. <laughs> ah, there we Speaking go. Speaking of, there, there it is. is a thing on Big Mouth. Oh, Big it's not mouth. even. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Can, can we pull it up? Can we pull it <laughs> up? No, please Big don't mouth pull it up. No, we don't oh, have really? the rights. We don't have the rights to We here. can't play it. Oh, can I ask an honest question? Yeah. Can we not play that? Like a clip of Big Mouth without paying we, for we it? Can, we can if we're, make, if we're uh, making commentary on it or satirizing it. Well, then don't play it, I guess. <laughs> because we're I mean, just the commentary would be like, "Here's this great, yeah." Well, here's this great. Nope, can't do. Wow, it. I did we not wanna, know that. That's so yeah. that is because we have that, that thing on the foolish. show. Like we do songs that are sound alikes of songs, like uh, uh, episode two. Jesse Klein, who plays Jesse in the show, gets oh, her God. gets her period for the first time ever, mm-hmm. and it's in the Statue of Liberty. Um, and then Sean Spicer comes out and goes, she got her, period. <laughs> that actually would be very funny. Very funny. Love to use Spicer. Spicer. Yeah. Gotta, gotta get gotta Spicy involved. Um, and we and have all sanctioned this. So. Yeah. We all welcome him back to Hollywood. Uh, back to Hollywood where he was, where <laughs> no, he was such a mainstay. Steve Bannon and Sean Spicer, welcome <laughs> yes. back, babies. And Manooch. The, and the mooch. I, yeah. the Mnuchin, producer on The House. Mnuchin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the, I, oh, sorry, that's Mnuchin, you mean. I'm Mnuchin, sorry. yeah. Yes, versus I, when, I, when I went to the uh, premiere, Mnuchin. I booed when I saw his name. So yeah. Did you, you really? Oh, that's I funny. Uh, it's go weird ahead. because Mnuchin seems to put himself in great situations. <laughs> now, he was like a... <laughs> like The House uh, and other stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I love The House. Uh, 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 go ahead. So, episode what? Uh, who, had di- who did what? Jesse sang... So, Jesse gets her period, and at the end of the episode, we have a tampon that looks like Michael Stipe <laughs> uh, sing a song called Everybody Bleeds. Right. And so, it's... it's. I don't... I mean, I don't know if the lawyers are going to come after us. It's like... Are you asking us if it's funny? It, or No, it's very funny. Oh, can okay. we play it? Uh, we can play that. Well, <laughs> let me let me tell you something. I uh, on Bang Bang, we were able to use the uh, "Just My Imagination" song uh, because we were parodying it, and we were we were only using a certain amount of it. You can't oh. use a long amount of it. Yeah, we and, and we yeah. Huh. we used the whole thing, but we changed <laughs> we changed we had to change a bunch of things in it, like to, the melody as well. Yeah, like, okay, yeah. But so it's, it's a I don't alike. think you're gonna have much trouble. No. No, but, know. We, but they were quite. I don't. I can't. I don't yeah, know if yeah. this is smart to talk about on there. But they were it's like not. nervous. It's not. Don't do this. <laughs> to please, I beg of you to stop. <laughs> I can't stop. It I don't know why the lawyers for Netflix said, "Please don't let anybody know we're we're wide open to lawsuits." <laughs> <laughs> You're going to shut all of Netflix down. But it's so interesting. It's <laughs> Everyone's like, Netflix it's just like, turns off. We had the suddenly. same thing on Kroll Show. Was like, if you are making fun of a song, you can use it. Yes. But if you're just using a song as inspiration, exactly, and you can only use so much of it, as which well. to me is so, so we could weird. play Big Mouth right now by the Smiths. If we could, we if, if we constantly make, make fun, fun of it. Of it. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Morrissey. What do you even yeah. think? Even though we are and on record Morrissey. as saying we love this song, <laughs> yes. yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Tell us more about Big Mouth. Uh, it's animated, and apparently someone gets their period. That's all I know about it. That's basically all you need to know. It's uh, well, Wait, it's, why are you taking your pants down, Scott? <laughs> because what are you doing? I want to crank are you showing it. Us a, yeah, you want to crank well, down or? to this description <laughs> oh, of an animated was, show? He was showing us a. <laughs> like a brown reddish spot in his oh, underwear. Oh, that's my butt. Oh, oh wait, what? Oh, you, you got your butt period? <laughs> oh God. Um, oh God. Your period? <laughs> your uh, anyway. So <laughs> oh, you want to tag it one more time? I came, like trying to find a better one. Oh, yeah, I couldn't. Um, uh, period is what I was getting to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Your, good. Um, but anyway, it's a show based on me and my best friend of child, Andrew Goldberg, going through puberty. And it's, you guys grew up together. We grew up together. He ended up a writer for Family Guy, uh-huh. and you went up, through puberty together. And we went to. Did, well, did you like we, com- compare pubes? Well, that was the thing is he hit puberty hard and fast and young. Mm, I mm, I was a very mm, late. Mm. I was a late bloomer. <laughs> I got I didn't have my first pube until about high school. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm, 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 mm. 
Yes. Really <laughs> cranking it down there. It's just, it's still not hard though. It's just flopping around. Oh, I am not turned on <laughs> yeah. at all. Do you, do you notice that he's using one of those IKEA screwdrivers to <laughs> and, crank down? Yeah. And and Purell as lube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Ooh, yeah. It's painful. There's uh, weirdly there are animated sting uh, <laughs> sting like lines ouch coming noises. Ouch, yeah, coming ouch lines of off of it. Uh, but then that's oh. the kind of fun we're having on Big mm -hmm. Mouth. So you guys, you guys grew up together. You uh, so and then we he ended up a writer and producer on Family Guy, and yeah. uh, and we came together with uh, our, our friends Mark Levin and Jennifer Flackett, who are writer directors. Oh, and sounds uh, like a great team. It's a great team. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a great You've team! A, You've got a great team behind you. Mm -hmm. You've assembled just an all star team. Me. It's almost like alongside. Okay, oh, oh, sure, but we all know yeah, who's yeah. above the title. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, it's Henry Winkler, who's not a part of the show, but we've just used just his name. decided yeah. to we go above the top. Yeah. Henry Winkler is not <laughs> in <laughs> Big, Big Mouth. Mouth. Yes. Um, but I'll <laughs> tell you who is. I'll tell you who is in please, Big Mouth. Please, please, love to hear. Uh, 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 Jenny Slate. Jenny Slate, who was trying to make it here today and could not make it, uh, but has made it to uh, various records to be on the show. Sure. Yeah. Well, uh, she's paid to be on yes, your yes, show. She's paid so Wait, many. You're paying Jenny. Uh, also on the show, but not being paid is Jason Manzukis. Oh, wow. Right. He thinks he's doing a long form podcast. <laughs> Good. I was told it was a podcast for. It is. I mean, we're all sitting around recording. Yeah, sure. Well, it, it, I, oh, but you just said you're paying Jenny. Yes. Okay. Yes, Jenny's getting paid. Also getting paid huh. is Jesse Klein. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another uh, very funny uh, uh, comedian, writer, yes. performer. Yes. Um, Love do, you mean, her. do you mean they're giving you guys money? I'm per, I am paying them? I mean, part my the people who me me as one of the producers is paying them. Okay. Also being paid. So finally, the Jews are getting shows in Hollywood. You know, is that you, what you're trying to say? If, if you read some Twitter and YouTube comments, that <laughs> wouldn't be far off. Hey, that's my sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> um, unironic. Uh, and nope. Then, me uh, too. But also. Uh, <laughs> Uh, also getting How paid. was that Trump march you went to? Or were you at the Juggalo march this weekend? Which one? I couldn't tell. I love them both. <laughs> I just went back and forth. Um, um, are you still doing you talking ICP to me? I talking <laughs> ICP to you? Yeah. I'm just saying I, I see, see you talking to you. I see you. I see you. I see you pee at the gathering of the Juggalos. <laughs> um, which is probably quite easy to see. Oh, Someone yeah. urinate at the Juggalos. Think how many weird dicks are exposed at Juggalo uh, gatherings. Yeah, really. When you Do think you think about dudes paint their dicks to look like their faces? Like yeah. to have oh, the same face? That would be so. Hey, Juggalos, will you let us know? Do you, does everybody, does anybody ever paint their dick? Honestly, they're. There are a few comedy bang bang tattoos out there. I would love it if it was if it was just on the side of someone's dick. Yeah, you know, just there comedy been, bang bang. Some hang and it shortens tattoos. to CBB. Really? I would like yes. Yeah. I would like when it's flaccid. It's a CBB. And when yeah. it's fucking thick and it just says comedy yeah. bang bang is my favorite television show. Yeah. And oh, you just want it to be the TV show? Yeah. No. Nobody's ever gonna get that tattoo. I know. <laughs> I know. What if it said comedy bang bang? Comedy oh, bang bang. Oh, I like it. What if yeah. I changed the title of this show yeah. to comedy bang bang or the TV? show but you know there's somebody, retroactively yeah. you know there's somebody out there who got a comedy death ray tattoo and is furious probably that's fine <laughs> it's just the it's just the laser it's the laser gun just that's the laser yeah, yeah but there is at least one hanong man tattoo that somebody yeah. put online oh yeah, yeah, they, yeah. i feel like the, people more again, people need to do that i would a do a people, small revision i would if it's gonna bang your dick i would do a hey dong man yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty okay. good pretty good <laughs> It's pretty good. Hey Nong Man, a yeah. porn parody. Yeah. <laughs> hey Dong Man, a Hey Nong Man porn, <laughs> porn parody. parody yep. Yes. So, uh, who else is in the show? Maya Rudolph. Uh, Maya Rudolph is being paid to be on the show. Uh, John Mulaney is being paid to be on the show. Fred Armisen is being paid to Wait, be on the show. Wait, you're paying Fred? Yeah, we're paying Fred. Oh, Fred needs wow. more he, television shows. He's on. So and, great. Yes. And uh, 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 Jordan Peele is the ghost mm -hmm. of Duke Ellington. He's being paid to be on the show. Mm. And he's, oh, I thought that was a real ghost. No, that's Jordan Peele. Oh wow! Okay. Um, no, but yeah. isn't he a ghost? No, he's well, he's alive. What? Although the Chelsea box already office, married a ghost. Yes. No, that's the show Wait, that we you, pitched okay. to Channel One Hundred Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> the sequel to Channel oh, One Hundred One. Yes, well, the ripoff. I'd say it was more yeah, of an East Coast ripoff. Just call it a sequel. Oh, yeah. Um, all of these people are being paid to be on the show. Andrew oh. Rannells is is a guest oh, I star. I love him. Andrew Rannells is a guest star, but well, also those being people paid. don't ever get paid. To be on the show, really? Uh, yeah, they're Richard paid. Kind being paid to be on the show. Well, of Richard course. Unkind. And not in this case because we paid him nicely, <laughs> and so he was nice. <laughs> yeah. to so he's been very kind. Um, <laughs> Paula Pell, a longtime Saturday Night Live writer, incredibly funny writer, uh, being paid to be on the show. Eric Appel. 
Eric Appel, <laughs> not an actor at all, being paid handsomely. handsomely. Really? To not, to not, not be on the show. Paying, part of the show. Paying him to not be on the show? <laughs> yes, yeah. Just to, for him to continue directing uh, Whatever else, projects. other things that yeah, he does. What yeah. the yeah. hell is going on? Yeah, I'm getting, I mean, a seven-figure it's, income. It's, you were very kind to keep it at seven <laughs> figures, and we're grateful to I, you. Look, you, you've been you? an old friend of the show. I just what? wanted to make Thank sure it, it didn't get to ten And figures. I'll tell you, we were willing to pay you more figures because of how nice your figures <laughs> Thank you for looking down at my figure when you said that. <laughs> yeah, drink that in. Yeah. j Dog, you had something you wanted to ask? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> You're good. I'm great. That's your hosting style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Um, so all the episodes, how many episodes do you make of Ten this Ten episodes. Ten episodes. That's all you wanted to do? Ten and done, you said. Ten and done. That's it. Um, one hour special every week. It's one hour, really? <laughs> no. 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 Um, and what what are the what are the kind of stories? The, uh, because it, if I were if I were pressed to tell stories from my childhood, I could there, I would maybe do one episode about when I had to do uh, gardening and pulling uh-huh. weeds instead of watching Live Aid, and that's about it. That's so about all I got. Sort of were you modern... able to throw a um, tape in the VCR and tape it? No. no. In no. fact, I, I tried to turn it up real loud. Uh, so they that knew. I could take a bathroom break if Duran Duran were to play, what did and I could you like do, pass by. What did you do? Was to, it punishment? To, was it a punishment? Or was it was it a just... Saturday, and it was like, well, you have to do this. And I tried to explain, no, this is a once in a generation, if not multi generation event. You had that wow. much perspective as a child. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, how my dad uh, got mad at me and wouldn't let me watch the finale, the series finale of Laverne and Shirley, and I never this, forgave him. That is ridiculous. I yes. can't imagine his that. Dad is, and his dad, is, his dad is Gary Marshall. What? <laughs> <laughs> he knew it was going to be not so good. Wait, was she? Did she, did she have the bandages on her face at that point, Something or did she, had like she returned? That. Yeah, no, there was that. Yeah, I can't his, remember. Because yeah. before Jeffrey Characterwitties became Jason Manzoukas, mm-hmm. he was... Uh, <laughs> Jeremy Marshall Zukas. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, you must. You must be I don't think, I don't Jeremy know. Marshall Zukas. Yeah. Jeremy Marshall Zukas. Yeah. Okay. Gary Marshall's okay. son, Jeremy Mar- Mar- Marshall Zukas. <laughs> okay, sure, so sure. you change your name to Jeffrey Character Weedies for show business. <laughs> yeah. And then I you decide. To, I didn't want to trade on my dad's name. Sure. And then you decide to portray the character. Jason now, Manzoukas. Uh, why? Why he didn't shorten it to Gary Marzoukas? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But that's. I mean, that was another manifestation along oh, the yeah. way. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So, so I'm so sorry about your uncle. By the way, we, he was a good friend of the show. I'm sorry that no he's problem. gone. I understand. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yes, Nick. Yeah, no, but th- honestly, we miss him. Thank we you. Do, honestly, the the we movies wanna, he could have made. We don't want to wash over. Thank this. you, thank you, thank you. You both. know, you know both. what was what would a movie he could have made that? You- oh, the so many holidays. Yeah. you know, and then why not mix in characters from your? You know, you got Elizondo in every movie you Actor. make. Why not mix in? Yeah. You know, Frankie and Johnny, Al Pacino in a headband. Sure, as a fry cook. You and know, and Gillian involved. Jacobs for one. Sh- sure. Have you seen what? <laughs> she and a- Gillian Jacobs and and Gary Marshall have a. Yeah. A, a long story a, history they, they, on this show. Yeah, oh, yeah they got, got they got yes, married so. on the show. Sorry, yeah. congratulations to yeah. them. And that must be, and I want to send my sh- love to Oh Gilly, yeah. To oh, yeah. yeah. She's being paid handsomely to be on the show. She's being paid handsomely to have done the G-J? thing about to do the thing about yeah. Gary Marshall. To basically be on Love on the same well, network. It's, well, it's on the same network. It's yeah, this, so it's, it's a Netflix lot like being on the same show. So she's getting a lot oh, of money for that. One one hand scratches the other one. Oh yeah, but we all have itchy hands. Why does everybody have such itchy hands is what I'm wondering. I think it's <laughs> it might be. If I had to guess. I'm allergic so, to eczema. So, so back uh, so, to the so question, sorry, the what stories, are these stories, though? So because I, could, really I couldn't is, even think of anything from my childhood. By the way, though, that's a very sad story about the Live Aid. It is very sad. I don't, I, like, that. I, I, I don't like that at all. I will say when it came out on DVD, I was very happy because I got, to to, watch I got to watch the whole but thing. But I bet you got to appreciate it more watching it later. Well, maybe not. No, what if I had never lived to that day? Do you day? think it was a culture thing, like you being a kid who was into rock music and your parents being like not into that kind of stuff and it was a weird thing of them? Yeah, I think that I started to like certain types of music that they weren't all that into but it was on TV what you know no, yeah. no one's yeah. going but it, it was queen yeah i don't know yeah, yeah. but it was queen. also like u2 and genesis yeah. Yeah. and you know what i mean like it oh, wasn't exactly. like I got huh. to see a few things. I actually wanted to set my alarm for four twenty, four twenty or ba, so ba, when it ba, when it ba. came on here in Cal in California for Adamant. I think was one of the first people. Actually, I, I believe Ultravox may have been first. But anyway, oh. go ahead. So, what are these stories from your childhood? So the show, it's like you know, it's Andrew, my friend, uh, hit puberty. Yes, he, he, from what I understand, he's a writer on Family Guy. He was a writer on Family Guy. Yes, great and, team, great team. And he um, he hit puberty very hard, very young. So like yeah. he. 
came in his pants dancing with a girl at a bar mitzvah. Really? And, uh, and I didn't hit puberty till very late. So, and so you came I in your pants later? Much later. And then and dancing and with then, a girl at a bar mitzvah, but it was like two months ago. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and the girl was quite young. Yes, no, to be fair, it was his wife wearing a little girl's outfit. <laughs> and that is something that is a joke because <laughs> I, I can only make, the, we can only make that joke about ourselves. Of course. Certainly, certainly. Of course. So, uh, but it is true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but, but so the, it's all stories that like, but in the second episode, a girl gets her period for the first time in the Statue of Liberty, which really happened to a friend of ours. Um, Jason. Jason's character uh, has sex with his pillow, mm-hmm. played by uh, Kristen Bell. So once you run out of people getting their period for the first time and coming for the first time, where's the show go? Uh, like sleepovers, the harrowing physical, seems, emotional seems like brutality. Seems like it's a step backwards. No, but it's like it. Uh, I know, and 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 um, you're, you're no, working against you... me selling my show. <laughs> I think. Um, and in I, fact, I'm just saying, like you, need, like why not set up a whole first season where. The main character says, I think I'm going to come in my pants. Oh, and then every episode ends with, no, I didn't. <laughs> and, right, then, so and then we're like, but back second more. season, yeah. this character's going to come in his that, pants. And that's the logline for season two. They're, <laughs> this coming, season back, two, yeah. they're coming back for in the first time. Season two is <laughs> yeah. coming, coming this fall yeah. for the first time. Yeah, um, I love it. Uh, but See? it is like, but you didn't do that. N- no, we didn't. We we tried to move stories forward uh, <laughs> I see. As, as quickly. and So if, season two, what, they're 18? And they're oh. like yeah, graduating. They're, they're, and so, and it's like Michael Epted's seven up series. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's seven years. Every time it's seven years, seven later. years later. And Andrew says, Boy, I really want to write on Family Guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that season. That would be season four when we're 28. Oh, okay, great. So that's that. But yes, <laughs> mm-hmm. yes, that's where we'll be by season four. <laughs> okay, great. Andrew writing for Family Will Guy. it ever surpass your age now? So it uh, would be. Yes, that's the idea. And I yeah. will and I will decide, uh, no, I don't want to be on Mad Men. I want to be on Cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, really? That was that a binary choice. choice for you. Yes, I, was, I had no idea. I like Matt to, Weiner's choice for uh, Don to, Draper. Yeah, I was supposed to be Don Draper. Mm-hmm. And then I instead I chose to be one of the cavemen on the TV show. <laughs> That's right, yeah. because you love sitting in a makeup chair. I love I love four hours of prosthetics mm. and and a blanket distaste for work, <laughs> <laughs> for the work I do. Mm-hmm. Um, so did I you have to totally taste. shave when you made cavemen like uh, like all the time? In no, order to... but I, I, I no. Thank God I did not have to shave. I mean, they made me shave my. Butthole, and I don't know why. <laughs> right, because but that was what the producers well, said. Well, that was when you had that butthole rat tail. <laughs> yes. So they they might have just been grossed up by that because it was always full of it was always like hanging well, out I was the back. Trying of to grow it. it so I could have a butt bun. <laughs> right, it's you like, would always you would cut you a little hole to... in the back of your jeans so it could hang out. <laughs> you said you wanted to grow butt dreads. Yeah. Well, it was like it would start. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, yes, 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 yes. Of, yes, of yes, course, yes. of course. Yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, well, this sounds like a dynamite show. I mean, people already. Um, it's a lady dynamite show, another right. Netflix show. Yes, project. she was paid very handsomely for Lady Maria Dynamite. Maria Bamford. Which Marie is Bamford. just like being on your show. Maria Bamford, people. Mitch Hurwitz, co creator, or, or uh, Pam Brady, all paid to be. All paid to By be. Big Mouth. Yeah. Wow, really? Um, wow. But it is like, it really is like all different. The. It's just the beautiful nightmare of puberty and all these different from all these different. So if you if you've gone through puberty, you can enjoy the show. And if you haven't gone through puberty, oh, yeah, call that, makeup. Yes, well, that's the thing. Call I guess on the phone. You, it might not resonate with you, Scott. Yeah. Right. Yes. No. I. I. I have, have, have late. I've late onset puberty coming in my fiftieth year. I believe <laughs> is what doctors think. <laughs> if I can make it there, I oh, think that's great. so great. Mm-hmm. That's actually really. I'm very happy for you. Thank you so much. You're gonna. Well, your mood will change. That's gonna be a so? huge yeah. like. Deep Marketing line in the comedy bang bang catalog. Oh yeah, suddenly is, my voice will deepen. <laughs> when you, when you, hey, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to comedy bang bang. Oh, people yeah. will be like, oh, Scott finally hit puberty. <laughs> Whatever. He's doing a quasi racist yes, voice. Has <laughs> indulged in a racist <laughs> voice. Uh, Nick, this sounds like a great show. People, it's uh, currently available to stream, and people have been streaming it all weekend. From the, what I've heard, it's, it's what the it's what caused that internet outage this weekend. It was yeah. so mm-hmm. many people streaming oh, it at the so same many time. Everyone, everyone came out as having the internet. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. And they also, from what I heard, they're uh, doing a special uh, mid-year 
your Emmys uh, just to accommodate this show That now. was really sweet. I was actually really moved by that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I was really, honestly, all jokes aside, I was very touched by that. And they actually put you in the in memoriam just, you know, just to honor you I thought that was really way. lovely. You know? You know uh, why should only dead people be in there? Exactly. And I love, look, I love this year's in memoriam at, um, on the CBS broadcast of the Emmys. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I love seeing people's pictures. I didn't want to see their full faces. I want to see them inside of a digital frame. <laughs> of course. Yeah, on a kind weird, of with like out of white, focus. Weird yeah. lit candle yeah. images. To yeah. truly honor their work. What I wanted was what looked like a, a Cinemax porn but yeah. starring old people. Yes, yeah. exactly. You know, a weird mm -hmm. uh, dolly uh, soft focus. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was great. And another thing that I want to integrate into my day-to-day -day life is having a red carpet on stage that I think is a prop. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I think those photographers were, were paid not real. background yeah, artists. They were yes, not there, real like, at all. And people stopping up there after having like, just Like, am gotten... I supposed to? Oh, no, you guys are fake. Okay, I'll just yeah. move past you. yeah. Yeah. yeah, great stuff. Well, congratulations, Nick. All your showbiz dreams are coming true. Uh, finally, it's great. Uh, nothing has ever been in your way. Uh, I would assume your father, Jules Kroll, has bankrolled your entire yeah. career. Yes, and it's absolutely true. If you're out there, um, my uh, very rich, very powerful father who's uh, on the internet worth so much more money than he's actually <laughs> yes. worth. Has paid all uh, stations to paid, make sure that you... Paid everyone along the way for me to be incredibly <laughs> yeah. funny. It's great. It's great. <laughs> and um, his name is Juice Kroll? <laughs> it should be. It practically should be. They changed it to jewels. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, rubies and oh, gold. Oh, I see. I you see, know I how, see. like, <laughs> Jewish people swim <laughs> through money like Scrooge McDuck, but then covet it and hold it near their huge honker of a nose? Mm -hmm. um, on top of a globe mm -hmm. um, that they have strapped to them. We know what Run the Jewels stands for. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all about trying to get my dad to exercise. <laughs> Look, we need killer, to take killer, killer Mike and LP have released multiple records just trying to get just, your dad to the gym. Just about jewels. <laughs> Uh, we need to take a break. Uh, just a, sorry, a just to anecdote. reset. Yeah. My oh, father. Oh, oh, you have a weird anecdote. Yeah. Okay. So, father, that we're, so if you're in the mood for this break, it's going to be about two minutes away. Yes. Okay. Go. My father. My father, who's a wonderful man, who for some reason we always said was very fat, even though he's not, mm -hmm. used to listen to a voice recording of like a doctor, <laughs> like a food doctor, who you'd listen to on the way to work, and the guy would be like, "Jules." <laughs> You control so many aspects of your life, but you don't control your eating. <laughs> Jules. Wait, this is a real thing. This is a real thing. And wow. that's the end of the anecdote. Enjoy the break. <laughs> okay. So would it affect his behavior at all? I have so many follow-ups. No, my dad loves chicken parm. Chicken parm. <laughs> oh. yeah, no, so do I. Just like a oh. real jewel. Yeah. Have you ever had a chicken parm? Never in my life. You oh, gotta I, don't, try I one. wouldn't know what it is. I mean, I would. I've seen it, obviously, you, but you've never. I don't know yeah, well, you, what, you know what a chicken is. I don't know what the like. What is the flavor profile? Well, you've heard of bok bok bok, chicken. <laughs> okay, bok, right. Bok, bok. I don't speak it. Oh, okay. Well, that's. You I don't mean, speak chicken. Wait, I, I is, say this just in case I've you speak of, it. I've heard of chicken, but I've. I mean, you, I've never heard it described as bok bok bok. Well, I want to make the sound that it makes. Too. You've heard make of sure. bok bok bok. Yeah, wait, you you've heard of cows? Moo moo moo. Yep. Sure. Well, we eat them sometimes. Sure. Uh, it's a, that's a lot like chickens. Got um, it. Right. So uh, put a little. Uh... To answer your question, Nick, I have not had a chicken parm. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you speak it. Yeah. Oh my God. What'd you just say? Well, he did semester abroad on a farm, right? Yeah, I did. So I, you learned to speak chicken. I learned to speak chicken. I got credit for learning to speak chicken. I can get by in a barn. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> but like, I'm not fluent. In a coop. Right. You can get like directions yeah, and you, you know where to use the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are like, well, you're. Chicken accent's very good. <laughs> and I'll be like, bark, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to take that break. Let's take that break. When we come back, we'll have more Nick Kroll telling us everything about Big Mouth. Uh, more Jason Manzukas just kind of sitting around and interrupting. And uh, we'll what be right interrupting? back. Interrupting? I'm part of the show. You just interrupted. I'm part of the show. This I thought this podcast was called the... Podcast. podcast. Oh, very classy of podcast. you. I thought this podcast. What about this podcast? Yeah, I thought this was the Marzukas interruption. <laughs> Ah, we'll be right back with more Marzuka's interruption after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're here. We have Jason Manzuka's over here. Hooray! Uh, A.K.A. Jeffrey Character Wheaties, A.K.A. 
Jerry Marzukas. Jer- Jeremy Marzukas, Jeremy Mar- I believe. Jeremy Marshall Zukas. <laughs> yeah. Can uh, we just short? Can we can we edit that now? To Marzukas. Yeah, just to have Gary Marzukas. Gary Marzukas. Gary Marzukas. <laughs> you want to change the first name to Gary? <laughs> Gary Marzukas. Okay. Gary Marzukas. I, I mean, know, I what do you so. think? I mean, I mean, you you know, it's 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 your. It's, we it's, also have Nick Kroll over here. Uh, Big Mouth is the show on Netflix. Ten episodes. Cur- and you play characters on this I, or one I character? Am, no, I'm Nick. I'm the hormone monster. I'm Coach Steve. Uh, and then about, I'm of course the impressions everyone have been waiting for, mm-hmm. like um, uh, Joe Walsh. Oh, from the Eagles. Yeah, me. You are still be your friend, me. The world has been clamoring for more Joe Walsh impressions. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, Sylvester Stallone. Okay, we well, yes. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. He's been on the show before. Yeah, it's great to be here. That's pretty good. He's been on the show before, so I've been around him. Yeah, so, uh, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I exactly. I want to see him, Scott. Oh. But, Scott. Who's someone just walked in? Me, Excuse me, we're doing we're taping a show. The prodigal ex stepfather has returned. What? Scott, it's me. Bob Duca? Oh my Hi. god. Bob? Uh, hey Bob. I was attacked by a back 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 on the way here. <laughs> Bob Bob, I'm stunned. How are you, me boy? I haven't seen you It's been a long time. In years. And I apologize for that. Uh, Bob, I'm sorry, everyone out there. This is my uh Ex stepfather, he was married to my mother for six months. Gloria, basically uh, father, deep father figures. I'm, I'm, I, I'm here to fill that father-sized hole in your heart. Well, you haven't been filling it recently. I, I know, haven't seen I know, you and in I can so explain. long. I can explain. I've been out of commission for quite a while. It turns out I'm suffering from an ursine dementia and combination grizzly <laughs> depression, where I hibernate for many years at a time. <laughs> uh, wow! I an I, ursine? What's an ursine? It's a bear. <laughs> yeah. So it's a combination between an ursine and a grizzly. Ursine, dementia. <laughs> yes. Grizzly depression. <laughs> grizzly depression. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. So you, you So you suffer from UDGD. <laughs> Correct. So, uh, I, I, that, sounds, Doug, that sounds unfair. Uh, you, I, like Ugg, I heard a whole thing about on NPR about Ugg Duggy, and it is brutal. Mm. I mean, we were in Uggy Duggy for a while. Now we're <laughs> yeah, tip deep in Ugg Duggy. Yeah, and Daddy Duggy. It sounds unbearable. That, did it, did it? Oh, Nick! <laughs> did it come upon you very suddenly? You didn't leave a note. You didn't let anyone know no, where it, you were it, going. It did come on me suddenly. It came on me uh, quite, quite suddenly. And I, you know, before I knew, did it, it I come thought, on you forcefully? <laughs> it did, and it made me think it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so you, but I mean, you just disappeared one day. I oh, did. We I had did. plans. Uh, we did oh, have plans. Wow. We were going to play catch, but I was scared. Right. Why? Of him throwing something at me. <laughs> well, then why make a plan to play catch? Do because that's else. what fathers do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never had a father to play catch with me. And, um, I mean, yeah. I did, but uh, and we did. <laughs> oh, so, well, that's confusing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you had to have a catch, what, what ball would be the least frightening to you? Probably a tape ball, like a piece of tape watered up. Oh, like a, what about a way, Nerf would, ball? What about a Nerf, like a, those soft Nerf balls? That, that'll just go right into me and mold into me. <laughs> you have very, very soft skin and very organs. Very porous skin. Mm. Yes. I've been diagnosed with kitchen sponge sink. <laughs> K- kitchen sponge skin. Mm. Kitchen sponge skin? <laughs> kitchen sponge skin. <laughs> it stinks after about a day. <laughs> but you can run it through the microwave. Constantly or you can re- run it through a microwave? You can run it through a microwave. To kill the bacteria. <laughs> mm-hmm. But somehow that bacteria keeps coming back. Mm. That's why they call it bacteria. Hmm. I don't understand. That also <laughs> explains how, because the back, your back, I can see a little bit of your back, is mm. very coarse. Yeah, it's like a Brillo. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a Brillo. <laughs> it's like a, like if you yeah, were like to a clean a Brillo. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Like Classic a case of Brillo back. Do you mind? <laughs> yeah. You got a Brillo back? <laughs> yeah. I was a pot washer in college and had no idea. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. <clears throat> so you, you just, you were gone. I was uh, gone never for quite a while, and I figured I, what, 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 so ursine dementia and grizzly depression are just <laughs> symptoms of a larger issue that I was having. Mm. Turns out I was suffering from male menopause. Oh. oh. What, what exactly is, I've heard of female menopause, very just, Well, know. menopause, it's a similar thing. I've heard anecdotal. Men, well, isn't that what you said your favorite age. porn category is? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Young man, I hope you're not watching pornography. I look, Bob. I'm I'm not a young man. After this is <laughs> to over, correct you. I am going to make you watch all the pornography <laughs> until you've got it out of your system. Okay, oh, like, fine. Let's make a date to do that. That would be. <laughs> let's just do that right now. Yeah. No, Bob. I want to hear about male menopause. Male what menopause. Exactly, uh, what well, is this? 
I, I looked up the symptoms and I have every one of these. Oh no. The following. What are yeah, what are the symptoms? Are just some of the symptoms. Are male menopause. <laughs> male menopause. Weight gain. Uh-huh. Incontinence. Bloating. Depression. Disturbing memory lapses. Disturbing prolapses. <laughs> breast pain. <laughs> titty ache. <laughs> nipple throb. Strep pecs. Areola Ebola, irritability, <laughs> hot flashes, warm flushes, <laughs> cold squishes, <laughs> night sweats, day sweats, mid-morning armpit pisses, <laughs> afternoon de wipes, <laughs> irregular periods, loss of libido, urethral dryness, <laughs> deep vein thrombosis, Main vein thrombosis, <laughs> painful tromboners, <laughs> ska band horn section infection, changes in body odor, <laughs> tingling extremities, including, or also known as Sprite fingers, <laughs> soda stream feet, and bubble dick. I have each and every one of those systems. Oh, all systems. of those. So it can only be male menopause. Oh, I, wow. One thing I should tell the listeners who haven't heard, I mean, you haven't been here in so long. We have so many new listeners. My ex-stepfather, Bob, uh, a bit of a hypochondriac. I mean, we talked sure. about Jason being one. Sure. But you, you, Self-diagnosed hypochondriac. Yeah. Although you tend to get the things that you yes. diagnose. Uh, it's it's called, it's it's hypochondria with a a. a, a, a Coexisting illness of manifestation disease. Yeah, right. it's like instead of the secret, it's like the secrete. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Wow. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Sure. Not funny, but it makes sense. <laughs> oh, very it's, funny. It's very. It makes very much sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's. I mean, that's a lot that you're dealing with. Wow. A lot it's a lot that I'm with. dealing with. Bubble I'm, dick, especially, has <laughs> got to be very. Main awful. vein thrombosis. <laughs> yes. These are all. It, it, believe me, it does makes it, make it, hard it hard to go to, drain to the YMCA. It? Oh. Huh? To drain make, my main vein yeah. thrombosis. <laughs> does that make? Is it hard? Well, you have to go. Each county has different registered. Main vein thrombosis <laughs> drainage center. Okay. Right. You have to register there. Now, do they have those centers all over in all 50 states? Most of them are at KOA campgrounds. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so would if they you have see though- me lying crotch down at a KOA, <laughs> KOA cr- uh, campground next to where the RVs dump their sewage, <laughs> it's a medical procedure. Okay. You are draining don't the main you. vein thrombosis. <laughs> yes. Right. Exactly. Wow. If your thrombosis center is knocking, rocking, it means you're... I'm Knock and rocking? Yeah. <laughs> Knock and rocking? Knock and rocking? Knock and rocking? Well, Knock Bob, rock. this is, I mean, I, I guess I'm I getting sh- through it. I'm I guess I should it. forgive you for. Please do. For being gone and standing mm-hmm. me up that day. Uh, uh, you're, you're obviously dealing with a lot. So. I am dealing with a lot, but you know, I am trying to, I'm trying to deal with it the best way I can. And I was uh, recently put on a new series of uh, antidepressant medications. Oh, wow. oh well, uh, good. How's, how's it working for you? I mean, I, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> What are you taking? <laughs> you know, it's so ironic that you asked that because oh, I happen wow. to have a list. <laughs> oh, of the cocktail of drugs that you're currently the taking? The cocktail of drugs that I'm currently taking. Oh, okay. So you're, you're going to read what drugs you're taking? Yes, if I may. In list form? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is a list, then, of the drugs you're taking? I don't know if it's so much a list as it is a column of one words at a time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, I'll take them as I can... Get and, and are these just the following? Okay, <laughs> are medical pills that are helping me through my male menopause and deep, deep depression. Prozac, mm-hmm. Zoloft, Effexor, it works all. <laughs> Buspar, Gary Buspar, <laughs> Abilify, Aptazutazatapan, <laughs> Lexapro, Lexa Amateur, <laughs> Wellbutrin. Elevil, alcohol is all, <laughs> marijuana's an ore, <laughs> masturbate carotene, <laughs> Netflix Benjamins, Lovux, hugs all, cuddle right, warm fuzzoline, <laughs> selexa, conflictan, inner warzoline, St. John's wort, St. Vincent's zit, St. <laughs> Bernardicles, <laughs> Martin Scarelli jelly beans and Robert Downey Jr. mints. Oh, all and they're helping. They're helping. You helping have to really find <laughs> the right combination, the right dosage. Yeah, all of that. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow, and even just the uh, inaccurate dosage on one of those. Just... I will jump off the nearest bridge. <laughs> is the Martin... what, what is the nearest bridge? <laughs> is, 
It's near a kiddie pool, so like, <laughs> fortunately it works out. Oh, okay. Good, um, yeah. it was, the, are the Martin Shkreli jelly beans expensive, or are they? They're very, very expensive. Yeah, the, sh- the price shot up recently. I don't know mm-hmm. why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Well, this is, wow, yeah. I mean, I'm glad it's helping, Bob, because I, I worry about you, you know. Uh, my mother doesn't really Does ask. Does she ask? Me. Oh. No, she doesn't ask about you anymore. I mean, we presumed you were dead, quite honestly. That's a safe bet. <laughs> it really is. Like That's 90% of the bet. time, any day. For those years that I was bet. hibernating like a bear, people how, thought I was and dead. How long, like, is this like a Rip Van Winkle scenario? Have you been asleep for years? Like, Are you, you a time traveler? <laughs> or are you, did you age appropriately? Well, I'm a time traveler in the sense that I get really depressed, I go to sleep, and then it's four years later. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So, so you, in that sense, yes. Yes. Right. Huh. Did but, you eat a bunch to prepare for your hibernation? Yes. Yes. What mm-hmm. do you, yeah, what does one eat when one knows? <laughs> it's funny you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> Just stumbled on that one. <laughs> you know, prior to my, prior to my most recent hibernation, I uh, was trying a different uh, diet to deal with some of my anxieties. Uh, Scott, as you know, I've suffered with, uh, from body image issues and, Dietary. Uh, describe your describe your body for those. <laughs> I mean, a lot a lot of people are newcomers to you, Bob. What exactly is your body? Speaking, yeah. Well, I don't know if anybody has been near an industrial mayonnaise factory, <laughs> <laughs> and they have the sacks of rejected mayonnaise baking out in the sun in the back alley. Oh but yeah, I've seen. Basically, that. you put a hat on that, you got yourself a Bob Duke. <laughs> right. Re- a rejected mayonnaise sack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rancid, a rancid mayonnaise <laughs> nightmare. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. It's how you would describe your body. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got it. Did you say ejectly? <laughs> I did not, but that's a good that's a good that's a good one. Mm-hmm. But anyway, my spiritual nutri- nutritionist put me on a diet. Uh, the philosophy of Sri Bhavana Bogdanovich employs <laughs> it's arrived from the idea that you are what you eat. Now, uh, if you in- consume unhealthy foods, you will be an unhealthy person. You consume processed foods filled with preservatives, you will be shallow and live a long time. If your diet is high in sugar, you will be superficially dynamic but lack substance. And if you eat cat food, you will hate mice and think you're better than human beings. This is an easy concept to understand. <laughs> mm, yes. What Shri Bawana Banana has done is develop a <laughs> dietary system that emphasizes not just how we feel physically, but how we feel emotionally. So she put me on a diet to make me feel special, unique. It's the endangered food species, endangered species diet, and oh, wait, Endang- a wait, the endangered species diet, wait, where you're only minute. eating endangered species. Correct, only, only, as a way to feel special because you are what you eat. I see. Okay, but I see. That, that would also make you endangered. That I hadn't done that part of the math. <laughs> But yeah. you are what you eat. If you're eating endangered species, mustn't you then be yourself endangered? Well, that's not what we focus on. What we focus on is what's special. Are you being them. hunted right now, Bob? Do you think? <laughs> I will say that that bok, bok, bok was human size. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And had a Wait, crossbow. Did you, did you see foghorn leghorn outside? <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> there's, there are poachers outside right yeah. now. And mm-hmm. they all do look like southern yeah. roosters. <laughs> this is a problem. Hmm. This is going to be a okay. problem. Okay, well, let's not get sidetracked too much. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. what are some of the endangered species that you're eating? Okay, may I read them to you in list form? <laughs> are you going to read all of these simultaneously, these words, or one after the other? How are they, and how that are they presented? Yeah, do them all simultaneously. That would be How tough. are they presented? How are they presented? Yeah, on the page. Is it alphabetical, or is it in terms of what you eat most to least, least to most? Or is it in It's in the order that I eat these every morning. Got oh, it. Okay. Oh, gotcha. So this right. is all, only what you eat in the morning, or from morning until... This is just the morning. Got it. Okay, let's hear this uh, list. The following oh. is a column of words that put together <laughs> make up my endangered species diet. Bobcat eggs. <laughs> tiger bacon. <laughs> Bush viper pancakes, a daily bowl of seahorses, <laughs> star nose mole on gluten free crackers, peacock sausage, white dolphin skewers, ginger fingers, bald eagle sliders, great barrier reef beef, <laughs> black Irish cold cuts, panda shank, silverback mountain gorilla vanilla, three bean orangutan, chimp biscuits. <laughs> Lamp biscuits. <laughs> Fred Durst. Oh, really? He's endangered? Wow. Just a, <laughs> you, haven't heard, only, you haven't heard much from him. Really. <laughs> How much longer does he have? I think there's only one left on Earth. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's known as Earth Durst. I have to start over now. <laughs> okay, no, 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 oh. please. Jason will be quiet. Bluefin tuna. Big eye tuna. 
Albacore tuna. 9-11 joke too soon, a tuna. <laughs> Hippopotamus. Narwhal nuts. Cobb salad with southern rock hopper penguin replacing the chicken. Copy <laughs> fat replacing the bacon and three-toed sloth replacing the lettuce. Arctic fox quesadilla. <laughs> Portuguese water dog. Giraffe browns. Helper monkey stew. Quadruplets. Left-handed people. People with that David Bowie different colored eye thing. Christian rock songs that actually rock. Gay racists, fat <laughs> vegans, and tan goths. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. And let me point out, this is selective cannibalism. I do not, it's, it's non-lethal cannibalism. But you are eating human flesh, Bob. Pieces of human flesh, yes. Wow. Just like the, the royal family is reported to do if you follow some conspiracy But if this is, <laughs> and you do. <laughs> that's a lot to Only eat Only the, the true ones. Yeah, that's, how much, are these all portions? Are these like cubed out? Like how, how much of these things? Are these are on like toothpaste? Toothpicks on a platter? What's this deal? The, actually, it's just like uh, it's like toothpicks at a at a cocktail party. Yeah, 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 on a platter. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, how exactly. they used to present like a Swedish meatball. It's not on a platter. It's on a flat silver disc. <laughs> That's what we call a platter, actually. No, no, a refle- is, it's a reflective silver, sure. I, like a tray. Well, sort of, but it's round. <laughs> a platter, I think. <laughs> trays are, have you trays never, are rectangles. Have you? Oh, okay. Have you never you seen a platter Parker? before? Trey, yeah. Trey Parker as well? In a way. In a way. Human uh-huh. beings are rectangles. And what I do is every morning I have a bunch of uh, uh, old mops with wigs on that I pretend are people at a cocktail party. Of course. Then we have these <laughs> these platters, mm-hmm. as you call them. <laughs> uh, okay, see, I think they are platters now. No, they're trays. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I, I consume this uh, uh, at my breakfast. Do you cook all of these things or are no. these meant to be eaten raw? They're meant to be cooked. Oh, <laughs> but, but, but you, you eat not. them raw. That's right. <laughs> I'm out of I'm out of Bunsen burner. Car, uh, I'm, uh, uh, the, the Sterno. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm out of Bunsen Sterno. burner Sterno. <laughs> <laughs> Bunsen, South- Bunsen Burner Sterno starred in uh, one of my favorite sitcoms. <laughs> oh. Which one? I've, I'm not remembering. Yeah. Head of Balky, he played Balky. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Bunsen Perfect Burno. Ster- but- Bunsen- <laughs> Perfect Sternos? <laughs> Bunsen- <laughs> Perfect Sternos, exactly. Right. That was yeah. the original name for Party Down. Was it really? Yeah. Perfect Sternos? Yeah. <laughs> that was produced by Jonathan, Jonathan Sterno, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, this, uh, Bob, I, I, I'm glad you're back on a great diet and, and uh, medication. You, that's, you do not look healthy. You look, you look, yeah. you look like sallow. Feel my cheek. It's my heartbeat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your heart's all the way up Here's, in your cheek now. Yeah. yeah. You oh. look unwell. I, I, I don't want to, listen, it's been a while since I've seen you, Bob. I don't want to speak out of turn, but I don't think this diet is working. Yeah. You seem very you, unhealthy. No, no. These are just the toxins leaving my body. Yeah. I actually think Bob looks looks grape. Thank you. In that he looks like <laughs> the color of a ye- like a green grape. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a it's You a, look jaundiced. Thank you. Sallow and jaundiced. That's what see humans And you're you're you know coloring what? has kind of taken on the qualities of camouflage. And it's your all like green and gray. <laughs> your That's, sponge hide, skin is dry. <laughs> I hide I hide from the poachers. I hide in hayfields <laughs> yeah. quite a bit. Okay. So the jaundice helps and the in the dry dry huh, you, the dry, and dry. the dryness seems to make you be curling inward yeah. a little bit. Yeah. 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 They call you have me. like opposite of scoliosis. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> Frontiosis. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because everybody knows scoli is, is Latin back. for back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, like, and, and yet, fronty and yet, and you're, is Latin for the front. <laughs> These are very simple things to understand, of course. But I will say your skull is looking bigger. Yes. Thank you. Thank I you. Mean, it's, it's, most it's of my poking. skull is fontanelle. Because uh, you do have scoliosis, right? Yeah. yeah. Which gives you a head the size of skull. And you also have scoliosis because you've been watching the X-Files a lot. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you I have No, I have scoliosis <laughs> because uh, I can't fly a plane. Mm, oh, right, that's yeah. Sully. That's Sully. Sully. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and some might say he flew it very well and yeah. saved hundreds of lives. Yeah, yeah, it's almost. Sure, sure. And got a big head as a result. Yeah. You know Scully who wouldn't say that? You know that who is, wouldn't say that? Who? Oh, birds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bir- I mean, yeah. Mm. He's been on the show many times and does not like birds. Your, your skull is poking out of your skin at places. It's almost as if you have horns. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. Have you made any deals lately? 
<laughs> deals. <laughs> what a strange thing to ask, Jason. Have you it's made funny. any deals? That's that's I, funny you should ask. It's always been my dream to play blues guitar. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, and, no. And recently, while... Uh, you were while in the Mississippi Delta? I was near New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> At the crossroads? It did happen. No, it wasn't a crossroads. It's just a place where four roads come together. <laughs> oh, no, that's, uh, no, that's, that's crossroads. crossroads. No, Bob, I have a no, terrible no, news. That no, is a crossroads. No, no. As no. long as you didn't meet anybody at the crossroads, like we're fine. Some kind of stranger. Well, we're I fine. Did. I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. boy. Did that person offer you any kind of deal? Well, he offered. He was a very friendly person, and I, I told him that my life had uh, hadn't worked out the way I wanted. That I'd always dreamed of playing blues guitar in <laughs> <and> <laughs> Mississippi Delta. <laughs> And he said, how much he wanted? I said, so, 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 so bad. Uh-huh. And uh, he did promise that in exchange for my soul, oh my uh, I could have uh, uh, this wish. Mm-hmm. Huh. And so do you what, understand what that means to, be, to trade your soul? It, what, it under, what it means is that I have a friend. Oh, oh. Bob, that's, this is – Yeah. Named Bill. Okay. Bill Zabub. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Zabub? Mm-hmm. Bill Zabub was his name. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think he must work at a Build a Bear workshop or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Why do you think that? Because the name sounds similar. <laughs> oh, you think so? so Bill oh, no. sounds <laughs> very like close to build? build. And you think as a result that must be where he works? Because people it's only a work deduction. <laughs> people only. I work. just applied Oscar's razor to it. <laughs> okay. Oh no. So uh, okay. I think you mean uh, it doesn't matter. So are you able to play guitar now? Uh, a little, well, I, I don't have a guitar here, but I have been working on the singing. Yeah, let bit. me see. Let me he, see the fingering. In the <laughs> splish, splash <laughs> in the deep old bath. Oh, no. Splish, splash in the big old bath. Right, around we, about yeah, midnight. Yeah, we need, we need to take a break. <laughs> uh, around about midnight. We need to take a break. When we come back. The water's too hot. Hopefully it's Bob will still be here. Thin skin. Uh, we'll be right back with more yellow, Nick Kroll, yellow, more Jason Manzoukas. Thin skin. More Bob Duca after this. Come on back. Oh, sing it. Be- Big mouth. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> Bob, I didn't know you were actually going to start taking a bath. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, uh, we're back, by the way. Uh, comedy Bang Bang. Uh, yeah, Bob, Bob, you decided During to... During the break. During the break, you wheeled, drew a bath. You wheeled uh-huh. in a clawfoot bathtub on right. wheels. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was using one of those, like, uh, cowboy time horse trough baths, but now right. I, I, I've upgraded to a clawfoot tub. Were you ever taking a horse bath as they, uh, as it's a commonly? Horse bath? A horse yes. bath? <laughs> I went for a while. I'd had a deal where I could only be bathed at the petting zoo. Oh, oh. yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I meant by that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, we're back with Bob Duca, my ex uh, father-in-law. Does but this father, help not you? father-in-law, Current stepfather? Father Scott, when you see Bob after all these years, does it help you with your kind of daddy issues? Your kind of. I mean, quite honestly, there were so many holidays that you missed, Bob. Uh, where I wondered if you were dead. If you, I, I are was, you perhaps? Upset that you might not have gotten a number of probably birthday and or Christmas presents? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I mean it's not as if Bob, I mean, some of the presents that you used to give, I mean, you remember. Uh, yeah, toilet you, paper pinata. <laughs> right, you know, I mean. <laughs> when you knock it open, was, toilet just, paper yeah, comes out. Yeah. Just toilet paper. Yeah, not made of toilet paper. <laughs> no, no. It's no, purely it's rolls of toilet paper. Paper, paper mache pinata. Yeah. And it's all the toilet, toilet paper, the paper that they that they use in, like, movie theaters where yeah, it's the I thinnest. <laughs> I think that's where you got it. Was uh, a movie institutional theater. toilet paper. And, am I wrong? That <laughs> that's the, the only thing mache... that'll work on me at yeah. this point. <laughs> and I, am I wrong that the paper mache was just sort of dried animal feces? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why now? Why doesn't thicker, more cushiony toilet paper work uh, with you, Bob? What's going on down there? Well, I don't know if you know about the different grades of sandpaper, but I have a seven butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Your butthole is a licensed knife sharpener, which means I could deal with with I could I could I could whittle down sea going lacquer. <laughs> You I can, can. I heard your butthole can strip enamel yeah. off of things. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm currently uh, been right in a letter campaign with the Property Brothers. <laughs> really? <laughs> to be used you don't want to get because they're stuff. also musicians. I'm hoping I can get a little of that sweet blues guitar. <laughs> uh, yeah. They're also magicians. I don't know if you knew that. That's right. That does not surprise me looking at the way their faces look. <laughs> what is it about the way their faces? look? They look like magicians. Yeah. Yeah. You know they what do. I mean? They I look. Mean, like I'm like ventriloquist dummies that were struck by lightning. <laughs> Honestly, though, the way your beard is very uh, meticulously manicured, yes. you sort of look like a magician. Oh, Nick. thank you, Scott. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm uh, I'm currently working on something. Oh, it's a there. It's like the you know how they're doing the Menendez brothers 
Dick yeah. Wolf is doing that. Yeah, Dick I'm, Wolf. I'm the Property Brothers of their day. I'm just doing the Property Brothers <laughs> of of the crime. I'm assuming they will commit. So yeah. Edie Falco is also in this with the curly wig. Yes, Edie Falco. D- yeah. Dick Wolf's doing a bunch of uh, uh, um, anticipatory true crime stories yes, exactly. of popular <laughs> characters that we think are going to commit crimes. Yes. Is it all twin based? It's or? all yes. It's all based on twins. So it's uh, weirdly when uh, Danny DeVito murders Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> five years from now. There's right. that show. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And a lot of during conspiracy the filming theories of Junior hold too. it. Dick yeah. Wolf committed some of our greatest crimes just so he could write specials about them. Re- I didn't know that. So it's almost Joan Beignet Ramsey. <laughs> In New Orleans, he did it? Was that why you were heading down there? <laughs> well, you know I'm obsessed with child crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Both committed to and by. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm one of those uh, totally non-creepy people who just gets focused on a murder that has nothing to do with them. <laughs> right, yes. And I devote my time to that. Can I ask you a question? How do you feel about the little rascals? <laughs> Yeah, I guess their child labor laws, right? You know, they were committing uh, well, the, infractions was, against those. The, it was a was that a fictional show? Uh, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Did oh, you not I know that? that was you thought about that they a bunch were of little, a documentary about a bunch of little, little thieves, little rascals. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> truancy. Yeah, is their main crime. Yeah, remember when uh, like the the truant. Officer, mm, those was, were the days when you would be afraid of them. Right? <laughs> were you afraid of truant officers? Were you? I, honestly, I really? was. I was walking around one day. Uh, I was. I had just gone to college, and I was walking home, and a cop started following me, and I assumed he thought I was in high school. And I was like readying a story. And I, did then you I have thought, like a, a, a slingshot in your back pocket? <laughs> I and did. A red and a baseball. Whirly, yeah. <laughs> a whirly hat. Um, well, Bob, the, it's I. I have missed you. Uh, I have you. to admit. Can I ask? I, a, sorry, just a follow up question, yeah. Bob. You know, when Scott wasn't allowed to watch Live Aid, were you in the picture at that point? No. He. I mean, you. You. I think. I believe I was thirty six or something by the time you married my mother. Right. Right. And, would, and, would and you, it was only for six months or so. Would you have let him watch Live Aid? Or Absolutely you... not. Really? Oh, really? Absolutely not. Why? Why? Because the only uh, the only uh, ailments that I want focused on are the ailments within the family, and unfortunately, at that time and forever, that had to be me. Right. Oh, so you want oh. to be the to be the focus of this charity? Has there ever been like any effort to kind of raise money for for to all to of your various of afflictions? The me- yeah, the myriad illnesses that I did uh, do a door to door Kickstarter that was unsuccessful. Okay, and that was and just when you kicking, said Kickstarter, kicking down you're kicking down doors. <laughs> yeah. And it, mosquitoes were out of the time, so I wore a pair of nylons over my face. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. That actually matches. And I would just enter, and I'd say, may I please have some money? <laughs> yeah, that's not I need plan. your help. <laughs> and were you able to collect any money at that point? None. 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 Really? No. Man, you know what? That says so much about the culture yeah, we're living really in, you know? It's a very selfish time. Yeah. You it know, really when does. people clearly see someone in need. Of <laughs> and you know what I think it's you know what I think it's from? What it's, is it? It's 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 from it's from this modern age, this computer age, and, and our addiction to social media keeps us from from interacting with yeah. one. Now, have Bob, you, have you, you been on social media sites, by the way? You know, I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> You know, social media is a rev- revolutionary form of communication. It brings so many of us so close together. Oh, you don't need to tell us this. But I feel I must. <laughs> it's transformed humanity, but it seems that the Internet is an endless stream of reminders of how I've fallen short in my life. Oh, oh no. I, that's too that. well. The that's... following oh. <laughs> are just some of the social media-related ailments that I suffer from, <laughs> and perhaps some of your audience suffers from these too. Oh, okay. Well, let's hear some of these. Do you mind if I read them? With reverence, <laughs> be my guest, please. I mean, you, you literally are my guest, so please do it. Twitter them, mm-hmm. swipe wrist, mm-hmm. Yelp finger, mm-hmm. flickeroids, <laughs> scroll aids, <laughs> Instagram amnesia, lack of faves induced melancholy, <laughs> YouTuber <curlosis. laughs> Snapchat chafe, Pinterest worms. Linked intestinal dyspepsia. <laughs> Retreat of <BDs. laughs> Blocked out syndrome. Unfriendometriosis. Oh. Cyberbulimia. <laughs> Hash <Hashtay> sex disease. <laughs> Fomophilia. Emoji coli. <laughs> Avatardation. <laughs> Early onset unfollowedism. No Menchausen syndrome. <laughs> Periscopidosis, 
in subreddit hematoma. Oh, oh wow. no. I don't know about you, but I, I can't go online anymore because it's people constantly saying, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. And there I am in the fetal position, honey all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Random pieces of tent. <clears throat> tent or taint? Tent. 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 Oh, I see. Covering you? Is this for your hibernation? This is this is just when I wake when I wake up. Oh yeah. You don't know where the tent has been all night. Right. And what you've gotten into. I think what happened is some of my my my, my Ursin dementia manifests in where I act like so a bear. Is it like a don't, werewolf? Yeah, yeah. Is it like a were you a were bear? <laughs> are you, Did you get into the garbage? Yeah, and... is it possible you were bitten by a bear at some point? And... Yeah, like some sort of you like, no, no, was like a radioactive I so. bear or... I don't think so. No, I was bitten by a glowing large dog <laughs> that had huge claws and fangs. <laughs> that might have <laughs> Yeah, that could have been yeah. it. No, no. I doubt it. Yeah. 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 When I was in the swamplands of New Orleans. Really passionate about this. The range was coming down. <laughs> mm. The sun was rising up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bob Duke didn't know where he'd been all night. When he looked down, <laughs> the nails on his feet—no, <laughs> the nails on his feet had turned into claws. Mm. And I'm not talking about Christmas time claws. You're not? Oh, uh, is Santa Claus? <laughs> You're not talking about. I'm him? not talking about Santa Claus. Thank what about? You, thank you for. Clarifying. What about the donut claw, like a bear claw? It turned out that I had broken into a bakery and shoved <laughs> giant pastries onto my feet. Oh. <laughs> Did you meet Joe Beignet Ramsey at that point? <laughs> I, the brother? Yes. <laughs> and I had a suspicion about that kid from the get-go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is who do you think's behind it? Who do I, the, b- behind Joan Beignet's <laughs> be, tragic d- tragic demise? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, I think it's her brother. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's because she just seemed too delicious? She was too delicious to live. He did it. And you know what he did it with? What's that? What? Biscotti. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Uh, biscotti, just quickly, to me, should be banned. Yeah. I think biscotti it's never is the as, worst. It's never as good as... No. It's, it's like you look at something with chocolate on it. When is Trump going to ban something that we all want yeah. banned, like biscotti? That's right. right. Yeah, it's what, biscotti's one of those things that was like... For a hundred years, it was garbage, and then one people <laughs> said, one day people said, "No, it's a gourmet." Yeah, yeah. And that's I truly believe that. Now, if you have you ever mixed a biscotti with a hot toddy, <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That was almost very gold bloom esque. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. A hot toddy biscotti. Uh, a hot toddy biscotti. <laughs> well, Bob. Um, I I'm sorry that you're going. I mean, I I you haven't even had really a working computer for a long time. I remember you you right. A lot of people get Dells. You had what was I it? I had a you gas-powered had? library computer <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> for the longest time. <laughs> right. Yeah. You walked into the store and said, "May I have a library computer?" Mm-hmm. Didn't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you bought and it. They, you weren't at the library <laughs> using this computer. No, no. <laughs> I, I was I was in the in the the store. I was in one of those fancy stores that has the invisible staircase. Yeah, the Apple Store. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, I don't know what it's called. Sure. Yeah. I don't think it's the Apple Store though. How did you know you were going? You just found yourself going up at one point. Yeah, well, this is after I had met my friend Bilzebub. <laughs> right. Oh, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Just outside of Lottie, <laughs> oh, Lottie Parish. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. In Kings County. And Did you watch True Detective? Only the second season, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fantastic. Oh, you probably like the first season. That I year. think you'll love it even more. It's actually set in that area. Oh. oh. And it's, it was universally preferred. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, what are that. your favorite te- television programs or just forms of entertainment? I mean, you've never been a person who keeps up with popular culture. No, no, not so much, not so much. Would you watch a show like Big Mouth? Um, Big Mouth is Nick uh, Kroll's show that's on currently on Netflix, all episodes streaming, yeah. animated show. Have you ever uh, watched Netflix, Bob? Like, are you aware of its how to use it? Or Do you, you know, know streaming? Do you know what streaming is? Sure, I suffer from streaming. <laughs> sure. Yeah. In almost all appendages. Yeah. Intermittent yeah. streaming disease. <laughs> Intermittent streaming disease. And I also have a multi-platform disease <laughs> and a uh, numidiosis. <laughs> <laughs> 
And a bad case of buffering. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to monetize these diseases, but it's very <laughs> difficult. It's too, yeah. Right now, I mostly do it for free for the fun of it. <laughs> do you ever have any uh, CISO-related <laughs> disease? Sadly, I had CISO, but it died. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you, but so so Big Mouth is a, a show about. In fact, Seth Morris does a voice. He plays a, 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 oh, a, comedian Seth Morris. Comedian Seth Morris plays the. Was he the, paid? He was paid. Yes, yeah. damn it, very well. Um, to be the father of Jesse Klein in the show with Jessica Chaff, and they play. His, oh, okay, uh, well, that sounds parents. good. So this is a show about children. This is a show about children, and they are. You were a child once. I think I was. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you seem like the type of person who never had a youth. <laughs> I didn't have much of a youth, as you know. My father was a door to door butter salesman and <laughs> had a very, you know he was away at work all the time. My mother was a very large woman. She was a shut in. We had to get an elephant crane to take her down to the car wash to wash her. <laughs> right. These are all things that old old listeners would know. Sure, yeah, yeah but it's great to remind people. <laughs> sure. I mean, I barely remember. Wait, um, and so and you were so you so I had a tough child. Were you forced to work as a child? Yes. Uh-huh. Really, you had a lot of odd jobs or yeah. even normal jobs. Where I was a band aid tester. Oh, oh where where did where where did you grow up? Like what part of the country? Uh, I grew up in the South Midwest. Great. Mm. So mm-hmm. like we, like Oklahoma. Well, we moved all over because my dad was you know butter butter sure. became well yeah butter I mean butter was king in those days. You don't have a regular king. route when you're yeah. a butter salesman. Wherever there was an active butter mine, that's where my father would go. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> yeah, we're always and running the, and from the American, big yeah. The American South Midwest is the butter belt. Everybody the butter knows that. Belt. Yep. Yeah. And exactly. just see those did butter cranes go, out there. Did mm-hmm. things go south when margarine came out? Or yeah. yeah. Well, oleo. You know, some of the some of the oleo thugs would come and try to bust up our camps. Oh, oh sure, sure. What what do you, a, how do you feel about? I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. I, I think those people are murderers. <laughs> I think they're they're brutal, mm. and they will stop at nothing until uh, everybody's toast tastes like a, a, a white washcloth. Mm-hmm. Your father is obviously not with us any longer. He's no longer with us. Uh, Where is he? Did, yeah. He lives inside Mount Shasta. <laughs> really? Here in California. My father became a Sasquatch. <laughs> I don't know if you follow conspiracy theories, but many people believe that inside Mount Shasta in Northern California is uh, is a portal for both aliens and Sasquatch. <laughs> Why would they share a portal? Why wouldn't they each have their own portal? Well, there's are only they going so to the many same portals. Place? Wait, on is that this saying Earth. that Sasquatch are aliens? Is it is, or it's there just... is that speculation? Squalians, oh, the Squalians, <laughs> yeah, Sasqualians, which is the new Black Eyed Peas album. <laughs> <laughs> Sasqualians. <laughs> now, and I just there's no connection between you thinking you're a bear and the, your father being a Sasquatch. I don't, no, I don't think there's any connection. Okay, you don't think this might. Potentially be a Teen Wolf kind of situation where <laughs> yeah, you, you are inheriting genetically a bear based. Uh, you said it was a glowing yeah, huge dog. Yeah, that glowing that could have been a bear. Could have no, been a bear, but in New Orleans, might have been, been, been a squalian. Yeah, it could have been, been a squalian. Because if I'm, and I could be wrong, bears don't normally glow. I no. don't. I don't think so. As Unless far they're as a I know. radioactive bear, right? Yeah. Or that you would know, live inside of a mountain that or, could maybe have aliens. Or they could be one of the gorgeous ladies of wrestling too. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. It's another, true. Another Netflix property. Oh, Alison Brie paid handsomely for your show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's on BoJack, another animated show on Netflix, but is also paid by Big Mouth. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I would, I would check out that show to answer your question. Oh, that's really nice of if you. you. If I, I think overheard that it has something to do with puberty, yeah, it's, which is something I'm very interested have in. Have you gone through puberty? I have not. Oh wow! Hmm. It's you we and, share that you and co- Scott yeah, we have, have that in common. common. Wow. You are pre-puberty, yeah. but presently experiencing menopause. Yes, I had this mustache mm-hmm. from the time I was six on. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently, what happened is all of my my pubic follicles were were sent into when I had a, a hard sneeze with my nostrils <laughs> closed. All of my pubic follicles were sent under my lip. They oh, just wow. redistricted them. Yeah, redistricted, yeah. yeah. And that's they not were, what's hey, called pubamandering. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry pubering. Mm, Jerry pubering. It goes by it different goes names. It goes either one, yeah. A yeah. lot of people, I mean. In Orleans, it's called. Oh, dear. 
Bob has told me that in the Duca family, uh, genetically, uh, puberty skips a generation. Mm -hmm. uh, every other is generation. that what happened to you? you know? No, I'm not. We don't share any sort of genetic uh, makeup. Or but you're uh, told you will go through puberty. You just haven't. I'm told. I, yet. Yeah, I'm told I'm going to get there. Yeah, it's just it's right around the bend. They keep saying. Jason, have you well, got? Be to careful. Puberty? Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you still go to a pediatrician, Scott? <laughs> Of course, yeah. Okay. I get a lolly <clears throat> at the end of this session. That's cool. Well, he's currently sitting on like a long <laughs> table with a, a piece of paper pulled <laughs> that, out. That's the only way I can be comfortable. Yeah, I'm sorry. If there's crap, that I've done if there's every episode. Crafts, paper, and, and crayons in front of him, <laughs> which drives the engineer nuts. Yeah, we cut it out of every episode. Yeah. The crazy engineer the nuts. Paper. That's another food that I eat. Really? Engin mm -hmm. Oh, that's engineered dangerous. nuts? Engineer nuts. It's what are those? I don't even know. It's an endangered species. It's the testicles of people that do sound for podcasts. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that what happened to the guy that did sound for the podcast that you used to do here, Mitchell? Mitchell, yes. Oh, wow. He got engineer nuts. That's terrible. Yeah. Oh, my God. Engine nuts. Well, Bob, what are, what are you? I mean, what are you going to do now? For are you are you going back into high? What, <laughs> what are you working on? What are you now? going back into? Yeah, what's coming up? Bob? Uh, currently, I'm working on an ingrown toenail. Oh wow! Okay, that's trying awesome. Trying to find a pair of uh, uh, non rusty pliers. You're going to try to yank that thing out. Uh, right? How far down is it now? Oh, I mean, it's how? deep down. It's up to like the ankle. Is oh. it hard to find a non rusty plier? For me, it is. Yeah. How many rusty pliers are you finding? <laughs> Well, first of all, I want to give a shout out to one of my bandmates, Rusty Pliers. <laughs> oh, so Wait, you, you're in a band. in your blues band in your blues band, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. It's a, it's a, we we make it's a it's a uh, it's a found instrument uh, blues band. Like so, he plays the wash tub bass. Sure, oh, of course. I, I play these. mouth guitar. Mouth guitar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> is this all Bill Zabub <laughs> gave you is the ability to do this? Uh huh. He said it was going to be I was going to be a big big star one day. <laughs> well, you are on a podcast. That's right. And what is a podcast? <laughs> yeah, okay. it's my profession. It's what I do. I mean, I know that you've never respected my work or hey, even really. Well, I only do that. I only do that because that's what fathers are supposed to do to, for sons to make them ambitious. Oh wow! Right? Yeah, and I guess I am slightly ambitious. You're very ambitious, way, and you're very successful. Perhaps because because of, of, Bob's, of the six months that you yeah. were married to my mother mm -hmm. at age thirty six. That's what right. What was that wedding like? Uh, it was it was okay. I was. <laughs> I'm had also it, curious, if you will. What the proposal was like. Yeah. Yeah, well. It's always such a romantic should we, story. Should we go backwards like Memento or should we start at the proposal? Which Let's one? just start with that. I had a gun in my mouth <laughs> and I said, <laughs> you don't want this to be your fault. <laughs> oh, that's so romantic. Wow. Yeah. Really and that was, that, was said, yes. and that was the wedding. Yes. And that was the wedding. And then it, was was a oh. it was a shotgun <laughs> wedding. Right. Uh -huh. When you but took the gun out, the ring was at the end. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Co covered in uvula sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Your uvula, I did notice, has like a dark, viscous fluid hanging off of it. Yeah. It's almost like you've been drinking chocolate milk, yeah. but it's just been like Sometimes dripping fall, out of your mouth. Yeah, I fall asleep. I fall asleep with uh, with my mouth open, and people think it's a bee's nest. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because it looks like honey's coming out of your mouth? And there's bees all over <laughs> There's a bunch of bees in there. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Meat bees. Meat yeah. bees. Meat bees. Hornets. A lot of people call hornets meat, meat bees. bees. Meat yeah. bees, yeah. yeah. You have to wear a beekeeper outfit when you go to bed. Uh -huh. you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, just, just to keep, keep bees, bees from setting in. up shop or yeah. to keep them in. <laughs> to yeah. keep them in so they don't Well, I'll tell you, I got a little side gig on some of that throat honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something else. Just I, selling that throat you honey? You can find me selling roadside throat honey. <laughs> Where at? Do you wanna, which road? Do you, do you want to give Did the? Sure you go to school. Do you guys know where kids? the Spearmint Rhino is? Yeah. By, the, by the sixty. Yeah, <laughs> right there. Right, right there. there. Yeah. You're just you're just you're out on the sidewalk just offering, offering, throat offering There's a car crushing center. It's some sort of auto re, reprocessing <laughs> thing. Sure. And you'll go there and offer men throat honey. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Bob, I gotta say, like. So I th it's been years since I've seen you, but you seem much worse for wear. <laughs> yeah, you seem I mean, you seem truly to be. Oh, I'm hanging on by the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you look like a melted candle, but you know, I mean, where there's just a nub of a candle left, and everything else is just right. Like, you where you go, like, what was that supposed to be? <laughs> you look like a recently turned zombie. Right. You know, like yeah, still very fresh, fresh, but like not good. Right. You right. Know? Right. Right. Yeah, I'm on a uh, medical anomaly tour coming up <laughs> next summer. <laughs> 
Really? Uh -huh. I mean, that, this is not a freak show. Yeah, no, it's no, no, not no, like no. a PG Barnum. It's not Barnum. a freak show. No, no, no. Uh, we just set up outside of uh, uh, <laughs> off, off the, outside of the county lines. It's me and a boy that lives in a fish tank. Uh, a woman who's made of scabs. <laughs> And uh, a sword swallower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does, you say sword swallower, do you mean like this throat honey? Yeah. Does the boy... Does, do you offer the, in addition to the throat honey, the, the sword swallower? <laughs> we do work as a team quite Does often. the boy <laughs> lives in an aquarium? Does he have his Is he fish breathing like... water? Does yeah. he have gills? Like, is it full of water? It's, is... full, of, it's full of water. Huh. Mm -hmm. How does he breathe? I don't know. He just kind of floats there. Oh boy! At the top. Oh, no. at How the old top is or this? At the bottom. How old is this? Boy? Is he? Is the boy know. aging at all? <laughs> no, no, no. How does it smell? How does that tank smell? It smells. Um, <laughs> hmm. How does that smell? It smells like. Um, Bad soup. Um, <laughs> you're not eating it, are you, Bob? Bad soup. That's one of my side projects, by the way. Band. Oh, bad band. soup. Another band? Yeah, yeah we're Bob, a food based I bad want to caution you cover band. Against eating any of that boy bad soup. All rice now. <laughs> all rice. All rice. Now. Now. We're a, yeah. Bad yeah, soup yeah, yeah. is a, a bad, bad comedy food based parody band. <laughs> yeah. Right. Got it. Got it. Yeah. This all makes perfect sense. You've been in a lot of bands, haven't you? <laughs> well, just since since I went down. Now, is, yeah. is the woman covered in scabs? Yeah. Is she a musician as well, or no? She. She she's not, but we do use her for the rhythm section. Sometimes we'll take like what we'll look. It's almost like a about. skeleton using yeah. his own bones to play the xylophone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Just yes. like yes. Uh, a turtle on the hat. You show. get it. <laughs> no need to shout, Bob. I'm so proud of you, son. You've always been sharp as a whip. Uh, well, are you going back? I'm in not sure that's that phrase. <laughs> sharp as a whip. Smart Flexible tech, as a tack. Smart. Tech. You well, you know, man. Tech, smart, uh, house poor. That's true. <laughs> Bob, are you going back into hibernation? What, am I going to see really you? It's really not up to me. It's well, really not well, up who, to me. Who is it up to? My 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 genes, your, just my, your body. My, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this may be the last time we ever hear from you again. It's, Does it's, the ursine dementia make you forget that you have been hibernating? Like, is the dementia part of it make you forget that you've been a bear or forget that you? I mean, been he came in here saying he did. So if he forgot that, uh, maybe, but maybe it makes him hallucinate. No, I don't forget. I just write uh, in in magic or uh, in 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 uh, sharpie. Yeah. Reminders on my body, got it. Right, like my what happened. I don't know what that is. Okay, cool. Right, you, you almost said a, magic marker. Yeah, but it, you you gave it the actual product. Are name. you sponsored by Sharpie, Bob? <laughs> Tell us the truth. I'm sponsored by Sharpie Dementia Products. <laughs> oh, okay. If you need to write things down to remember who you or what you are, <laughs> yeah. There's no better product. Now there seems, truly, yeah, there seems sharp. to be a really scabby tattoo across your forehead that says "Never Forget." It's very fresh. <laughs> That's right. And is that related you to the You know the ironic thing? <laughs> there, uh, I can't remember why it's there. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Well, something happened 16 years ago. Maybe mm. it was about that. Wow. Um, <sighs> was it, uh, didn't didn't a Jay-Z album drop or something <laughs> yeah. like that? Yep. What a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who could forget Gary that? Gary Condit. Condit. Was it a Gary Condit related? Oh, Gary, Gary Condit. Condit. Yeah. The only man happy about 9-11? Yeah. That's right. That was a <laughs> did carrot top figure joke, out what happened to Shonda Is it really? I think so. <laughs> That's one that I've been waiting to jump on for all years. All rest now. <laughs> Baby, it's a all oh, rest well, yeah, now. Yeah, you don't need to go into it. Look, but Bob, we, we're running out of time here. Aren't but, we all? But uh, we do have one last feature on the show that you may want to partake in, yep. even though you may not have anything. Uh, Is it a place can... to live? Oh, no, it's actually a little something called plug. <laughs> Horrible. Mm. <laughs> um, that was Danny Hager with I Guess This Is Doing Plugs, a parody of a Blink-182 song. Apparently. Oh, is it? I, I believe it is. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, so you didn't like it just on a purely you, – you, perhaps you don't like the Blink-182 song. I probably don't. Okay. So I that's, probably you don't. Just, you just d disliked it. I did it, not know it was a Not on a parody. comedic level nor on – It was fine. I mean, it was fine. Well, but you, I were, didn't... You, were, you were pointing your thumb down and saying boo, boo. You're no, I wasn't. I Steve was... Albini did all the production on it. I'm into it. <laughs> I thought it was great. <laughs>
All right, what are we plugging, Nick? What do we got? We have, of course, Big Mouth. Um, yeah, I really think it's. I'm really just pushing Big Mouth. Are right you proud now. of it? I am, Scott. A moment of sincerity. Mm-hmm. I don't like the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all about the paycheck. Uh, it's all about that sweet no residuals because it's on Netflix paycheck. They give me the, the buyout though. They give me that buyout right up front. No, I am uh, so. so I am very, very proud of the show. I, I think it's uh, – I'm very, very happy about it. Um, and it, it, there's so many funny people involved on the show, and I think it looks great. And I, I'm, I really hope people watch a few and get into it. It's very dirty, and then it's also very sweet and tells some real stories. So I, I hope people watch it. All right. And they're, they're all streaming now so people can partake uh, at their leisure. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jason, what do you like to plug? Um, I'd like to plug uh, – uh, the How Did This Get Made podcast here sure. on the Ear Wolf Network. Have you mm-hmm. ever done a documentary about how did this get made? How did this get made? Get made? How did, oh, the the show. How did this get made? How did it get made? Yeah, mm-hmm. no, but it would there's basically a podcast. be me. Like me. there's a podcast on Feral called How Did This Get? How Did This Get Made? Really? How did this get made? Get made? Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? That didn't add up. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, Is it true? No. Um, I will plug that podcast, and I will plug. Um, um, it's October. Yep, October two. I don't know. Um, what do you got I'm coming not out? Sure, what I'm supposed the to. The house out on. Oh, Blu-ray the house is probably? out on uh, VOD. It's out on iTunes now. The house you can rent it. Right. Um, if it's probably going to be on plane soon, which is when everybody will be like, "Hey, I saw that movie you were in." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, fun. um, so yeah, definitely check those out. Check out. I'm in Big Mouth, which is terrific. Um, and I'll also plug, um, I also do a voice in um, uh, Comrade Detective on Amazon, which is very oh, yeah. funny. I hear that's great. It's really it. very funny. Yeah, great. it is very funny. Awesome. Uh, I want to plug, uh, hey, check out the Earwolf store. There's all sorts of new comedy bang bang merch there. Um, some You Talking You Two to Me merch out there if we ever do that show again. I also want to plug Blade Runner 2049 this Friday. I yeah. mean, uh, I'm not in it. Uh, I'm excited for I'll it. I'll probably watch it. I'm, is it, I'm is it, legit is, excited. Did the dude who made like it's the. It's Denny Villeneuve. Ooh. Yeah, that all the, could be all the Stranger cool. Kids, the Stranger Things kids are in it. Oh my God, I can't yeah, wait. It's so good. Millie, Millie Jackson Brown, I believe her name is. <laughs> She's, she's Millie Jackson Brown. Yeah. Millie Whitney Houston is her name. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, Bob, you want to plug anything? Sure. Uh, well, just the throat, honey, uh, over there. Uh, <laughs> under the overpass. <laughs> what what, what hours are you there? I'll be there from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Are you associated at all with the Spearmint Rhino? Uh, no. Okay. No, 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 not at all. But, uh, but your throat, and- honey, tastes like Spearmint. And, it and, does. Spe- is Spearmint and Rhino, Rhino, is and Spearmint Rhino. Rhino <laughs> on the endangered yeah. food species? <laughs> <laughs> Spearmint rhino horn. Spearmint rhino horn buglers are uh, are, are buglers. One of, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Are one of the things. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I also want to plug uh, uh, two wonderful boys, John Daly and Gillisari, have a oh, short yeah. film called Men, which I believe is on something called Super Deluxe. Men. Yes. And that's uh, it's it's <laughs> it's 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 a documentary about two wonderful people. <laughs> yeah, that, I do. I, yeah, it's I've, terrific. Yeah. It's terrific. And uh, other than that, I invite people to find me, and uh, we'll just do some Wait, body. You jam. invite them to find you, just like hide and go seek. <laughs> Unless you're a bok bok bok. Oh, you're okay. Bok bok bok. Find me, and uh, and you know, we're we're looking for a drummer for the band. Drummers are so hard to what, keep. What about a mouth drummer? Because I can go. Oh, I would love it. Would you like to come? Wow. come hang out with I, us? We Isn't would that spend nice? some time together. Let's Isn't do that some. Nice? You do your mouth drumming. I'll do mouth guitar. Okay, here we go. Boom. That's it for Comedy Bang Bang, everybody. Thanks for listening. No. Come back next week. That's the outro music. You're really good at this. You it's should very good outro you music. You show. don't even know that we haven't even closed up the old plug bag yet. Let's I close up gotten the old there. plug bag. No, we you were ending the show. It. You we were could ending. have just done it. Oh, God, you're bad at this. You're bad at this. Jeez Louise, we were having a real moment. Grounded to a yeah, halt. Yes, by for you. This, by for you. Singing? God damn it, Jason. This, this, this song is my favorite song in yeah. the show, and now it's been ruined because, Scott, you stepped on Jason trying to host the show. <laughs> this is my fault somehow? <laughs> Son, I have to agree that you really <laughs> no, shat the bed here. <laughs> Even you? Yeah, have you ever shot the bed, by the way? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have and it was produced sheets. by Tim and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have what, Bob? Oh, right. I have turd sheets. Turd sheets. Special. What does that, what does that mean? Just a bunch of toilet paper on the bed. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> is that what you use you the old two, pinatas for? Yeah. Two ply, two ply sheets. <laughs> yeah, actually, I want to plug that the special uh, turd bed. It comes in a box, and you would not believe it. You press it, and then uh, it's uh, it's actually just a whole bed that was shoved right. into a box. And oh, it shouldn't wow. have gone is, is it the size of a maxi fridge? Yeah. Like a bigger fridge. Uh-huh. It's it's dense. <laughs> it's a dense, dense box. You think you're not going to hurt yourself and lifting can, it. If you don't want it within 100 days, can you send the turd bed back? Yes, but you have to just put it, put, find a regular, you have to find a mattress mailbox. <laughs> oh. Has anyone ever oh, stolen tough. anything from the turd bed? Has anybody, st- a turd Like bo- a turd burglar? <laughs> turd burglar. <laughs> turd burglar. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, no. Very good, Nick. Very good. Uh, <laughs> this is the kind of thing we'll see on Big Mouth uh, <laughs> streaming now. Well, I want to thank. There my... is a Gogurt burglar on, on nice. Big Mouth. <laughs> okay, good. Mm-hmm. I want to thank our guest, uh, Nick. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, you, you enough with the hard sell. I'll watch it. Yeah. So desperate. <laughs> Spent a year making this thing? <laughs> year and a half. <laughs> year and a half, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. It's animated, baby. Wow. Like a nine to five every single day? Yeah. And with a. With, with, just singing with a, nine to five every singing, single we day. Sing it. And um, not Harvey Corman, the man who played that role, was very difficult to work with. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, Dabney Coleman. Do you mean Dabney, Dabney Coleman? Coleman? Yes, I do. Or Dabney Cole person. Uh, I <laughs> oh, want to thank no. you, Nick. It's always a pleasure to see always you. Good luck pleasure. with all of your show business uh, adventures. You have several projects every year. Uh, Jules Kroll, <laughs> working hard. Working hard Work, to keep me working. Run, run, the, ju- run the Jules Kroll. Pulling is, those Jew strings to keep his. <laughs> run yep. the Jules Kroll is one of the, my right. favorite run things. Run the Jules Kroll is, is very fun. Kind of uh-huh. great. Yeah. Uh, Jason, want to thank you, obviously. Thank you, Scott. It uh, is Always a delight. Always a delight. And Bob. Uh, God bless you, little boy. Oh, wow. You're just a wonderful child. And, and the day you entered my life, my life became worth living. Mm. That's oh, so I, sweet. I, I miss you. We're not we're not close anymore, I feel like. We, we can need... fix that. Oh. Yeah, it's never too late for me to live with you. <laughs> oh, oh I don't know. I'll do I have it. A very, I'll do it. I'll do it. I have very closed, cramped quarters at my That's place. what I'm used to, believe me. <laughs> it's almost like you're a dog who gets put in a crate every mm-hmm. night. I'm Yeah, like a dog, I like to sleep in packs. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know, Bob. <laughs> it makes me feel safer. I, I'm worried you're going to hibernate and then yes you're just going to gonna be in the same place for months Scott, at a time. take a risk. All Listen, right. I'll, if I follow, if I, if I do a grizzly hibernation at your house, all you got to do is slap an IV in me. And turn me over every couple of weeks so I don't get bed sores. That's all I have to do. Easy peasy. Uh, Japanesey, look. Well, that's a little racist. <laughs> okay, look, we're at Wow, time. you've been racist twice this uh, week. Uh, hey, you know. Well, uh, we'll see you next time. Bob, uh, come on by the house, sure. Oh, yeah. what a happy ending. Uh, yeah, happy endings on this show. That's what we try to do. So we'll see you next week then on the show, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, great. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. Remember, you guys know we're always creating awesome new merch with Pod Swag. Starting in January, you will be able to receive a different exclusive Comedy Bang Bang t-shirt every month for a whole year. Each shirt will be designed by a different artist, and they won't be available anywhere else. So subscribe now at podswag.com slash bang bang. That is podswag.com. Dot com slash bang bang. This is very exciting. Get your monthly CBB t shirt. These things are incredible. This has been an Earwolf production, executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit earwolf.com. Earwolf.